at 9 in the morning, supposed to stop at 10 and 3.30, we still go in it in the morning. And they have to pull me off to get me to the next place. Three solid weeks, seven days a week, and that still wasn't enough punishment for them. <laughs> if, I don't know, we, I'll ask him, Toby, to give us five whole days, nine in the morning till ten at night. I know you should be that three o'clock in the morning, but if he just booked that, five days. That means every one of you who are interested will notify. You have a chance to come and spend time looking at the things. We want you to see them for yourself. We want you to go back with photographs you took. Not what I took, or somebody else took. You took. So you know that's true. We want you to feel the things. We want you to film and video it so that you are satisfied that what you saw is real and not fake. No man can say more than that. We're not hiding anything from you or from the government. In fact, we're telling them precisely what we're going to do. If they complain, it's hard luck. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> and you can't wait no longer. Every one of you who are trying to develop something need support now. Someone's got to push that support. And my golly, I'm going to. I'm not going to stop until this technology is here. You can come and turn cookers on and satisfy yourself that it's not free technology, but alternative technology. We must be careful about the words we use. If we keep saying free, we're going to be laughed at. If we say anti-gravity, we're going to be laughed at. What we must say, we think what is happening, that we are producing the gravity field around the vehicle, and because two lights repel, we can get away with that. But if you say it's anti-gravity, then we have two opposites. They will pull together. So we must be very careful how we word our statements. It's not what you think, we have to be careful, it's what other people think. I hope that I will see every one of you on the next do we have. And I don't know if John would like to say anything. Can you think of it? If not, you may ask what I can do. I enjoyed your funny side in your workshop. I took a few notes on it. But I think there's a higher urgency in your generator. And if you could take a minute or two, the, the potential for all of us to be self-dependent uh, on energy, the reduction of dependency on hydrocarbons worldwide, the opportunity to make nuclear power obsolete, and the vast health benefits of your ionization. By those products, I think there's quite a few of us, if, if you could talk a little bit about your ionizer. Thank you. All right. I, I'm sorry, I have no hearing. I have to vibrate the bones a bit. You want to comment on the medical aspects and on the home aspects and for, to give us the independence? Right. This is fact. The gentleman has said what I was planning to say. This generator it's a prime mover and as such it means it can be used in the burn case here is a sample of what it can do the Sherwoods from New York came to visit me on the request of the universities to investigate whether the claims on the media was true or false when he arrived I arrived with my team at the hotel in London to greet him and I was a mummy I had two slits slipped from my mouth I had been in a terrible explosion when he arrived to, to, I told him we had to take him to the launching site right away because our team could only be together at weekends because we had to work elsewhere so 
Dr. Kane had arrived. He was in the opposite uh, side of the hotel. So we brought them all together to stop all, one, as we call it, to show him the demo one. Seven days later, they came to the hospital with me to have the wrappings to take off to see how critical the damage was. Only the jagged vein was still damaged. The blood shot out and they had to freeze it and rebandish it again. Next seven days I went back and they took the bandage off. The doctor said, I can't believe it. Your face should be all crinkled up, wrinkled, distorted and deeply purple coloured. How did you do it? And I told him, the generator in the house is making the conditions. It is purifying the room so great that there is no bacteria that could attack or damage the particular tissue. On top of that, we are pumping so much electrons back into the tissue that the tissue has a chance to heal faster. You may say, how painful was it? Well, when your head is on fire and your face is burning up, it is very painful. <laughs> you may say, well, how on earth did you cope? And this was a problem. There are other people there and they're simply frozen and they never moved. Well, after all, you just disintegrated the fuse box and the meter and all the cables. All the washing had vanished. Your head on fire. What could they do but just stand there? We had a big deep freezer chest, so I dived in that for a few minutes. And then came out and I rang the doctor and said, we've just had an explosion. So he rushed over, he strapped the face, he did the neck. Unfortunately he put the wrong stuff on the neck. And gangrene had set in. They rushed me to the hospital from work, I went to work. Yes, I still did my 14 hours night work. But on the third day, I said to the manager, I said, I have to go to the hospital. So he said, right, you can't drive there, we'll drive you there. When they took off the bandage, the blood shot out, and they said, gosh, you've got a bit of gangrene in there. So they had to pump a load of penicillin in me. Professor Searle, we're going we're gonna to have to end in about two minutes. Oh, two minutes, right. Yeah, so, I, so me, a lot of people have been asking me to ask you one question. I think everybody in the room wants to know. What happened to the discs? What are you doing now and what do you need? Right. Well, what we'd like is people who feel they can donate gifts to get this ball rolling. It is beginning to roll. If you really got behind this effort, six months from now, we can come back here and you can see what you have never seen before. And that is a promise. What happened to the discs? The discs, all the discs, are, uh, we got about 30 machines which we can't recover. You see, during the time I had my happy holiday in prison, was cared for and loved and treated, they got rid of all the equipment by which you can recover them. We cannot get that equipment anymore. So we have to build a new one. At this time in Germany, they are working on one. I cannot say for sure whether we got it far enough to bring it over in July. But we are hoping, it's still hope, that we can arrange a place in Denver, Colorado Springs. I say, at the moment, we're not sure. They won't sign the contract because they want the loyalty. So I wish you all the best. I hope to see you all again, and I hope you will support the drive of alternative energy. Thank you very much.